Hello, welcome back. I'm Laura and in this video, we are going to go over how to paint your sash. Prior to glazing this window, we did sand the face of it and the parts that we were going to um, add paint to. The other part that we did yesterday was add water repellent preservative, which is just one extra layer of defense for your wood. However, it needs about 24 hours to dry before you actually put your primer and top coats on. Today, we are going to just do one coat of paint. And I wanted to make just a couple comments about your type of paint. I always recommend that you go with a higher quality of paint. Um, it will last longer and save you more touch-ups in the long run. The whole purpose and what you're trying to do with paint is make sure that you are coating all of your glazing putty and you're gonna paint just a little bit onto the glass. And what this is gonna do is it's going to seal the glazing putty in and it'll help it to last longer and it'll keep less water from infiltrating and, and causing other issues. We are working with a lower sash and so the elements that we will be painting on this sash are these front facing pieces. And also there's a small edge right along here that we will also be painting. There's no glazing putty visible on that side. And that's because with some lower sash, what you do is you actually have to slot the glass up into a channel that is at the top. And when you do that, it's going to be just flat um, against here. And so we're going to paint it and still seal it, but it won't be as obvious as painting onto the glass on these other sides. The reason for that is that with this lower sash, the top of this will be visible from the inside. And so it's going to have the interior finish. The reason we will not paint the front face of this piece, the sides or the bottom, is that we do not want to have finishes where wood will be against wood. It can cause the windows to stick or even meld the paint together. So instead, it's just treated with water repellent preservative. I usually like to use a angle brush and what I'd usually do is I just get enough and I like to work on the glazing first. So I've loaded a brush up just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is kind of work along this edge and kind of get kind of this initial coat. Usually after I do the glazing, then I load my paint brush up with a little bit more paint and I will brush it out. You kind of do you want to acknowledge like where which way your grain is going in the wood. And so in this case, I'm not going to just continue going up the side. I want to make sure my final stroke is off the end. And so it's following the shape and uh, grain of that side rail of the window. So basically just trying to get a good initial coat here, a good primer coat. We're basically going to just finish doing all of the wood elements that I mentioned earlier. So basically we'll continue doing the exact same thing. We're going to paint the glazing a little bit onto the glass all the way around. You're going to finish that coat and let it dry. You add two more top coats after that and your sash should be painted. So once you have your sash fully painted, you can spot paint. And I think that's what sometimes homeowners can forget and building owners can forget is it's those little bits of maintenance that you can do over time that will really save you from having to go through a full restoration process again. So stay tuned, the next video we have will be about epoxy repairs.